guys and welcome back to my channel this is Anastasia welcome everybody in today's video I am sharing another military inspired backdrop but this time I wanted to make more for a baby shower backdrop than just more serious military backdrop uh, this backdrop you can use for children that are smaller for like a uh, birthday backdrop or photo booth backdrop or a baby shower backdrop. You choose, you pick. Before uh, sharing this backdrop with you, I really wanted to explain a little bit more why I set up my backdrops the way I set them up. I usually have something going on on one side rather than have the whole backdrop kind of like filled and packed. I love to think about uh, backdrops before I set them up. I think about where this backdrop is going to be. Is it going to be behind the food table? Is it going to be behind a mama who's sitting in front of the backdrop, opening up presents? Or is it just a photo booth and people just coming and taking pictures with this backdrop? I love to think this through before I set everything up because if I have lots going on on my backdrop or around my backdrop it can swallow those people who's trying to take pictures or it will swallow the mama to be sitting on a chair and opening up presents. Everything needs to be in moderation. That's how I like to think about this and not overpower those who wants to take pictures next to that backdrop so that's why i love to have like the centerpiece of a backdrop right on the side or somewhere hanging on uh, my backdrop and then have space for people to come in take pictures for space for mama to sit and just um, sitting and opening up presents I'm thinking ahead of time how it would look on pictures. So take a little bit of your time and think through what you want to use this backdrop for. And I'm pretty sure that will help you a bunch. All right, without any further ado, let's jump into this backdrop and I hope you will enjoy this one. Let's quickly go over all of the things that I would need and you guys would need for this backdrop. I have my ladder here and my pins with pearls on top. I have these three wooden boxes that my brother made for me. I will find something similar or things that you can substitute these boxes with uh, online and I will link uh, a link somewhere in the description below. I have uh, two strips of netting here, two totally different colors and I did explain why I have two nettings because I ordered this one first and then it was supposed to come way too late so I ordered this one in hopes that it will come faster and they came both, both came at the same time so it was really weird for me. Anyways, two nettings i will uh, list them in the description below all the sizes and everything for you guys there so if you're interested check it out i have a whole bunch of bears over here uh, mostly brown and this cute white one three onesies and uh, this uniform i have a top and i have a hat somewhere probably underneath the top and these medallions necklace uh, that's all I would need also I have these lights in the back let me show you these twinkle lights over here I am going to show you how I pinned them and let's go and make this backdrop happen so I took a pin with the pearl on top grabbed my lights i went in between the wires there's three wires in this twinkle lights and i went into the fabric with my pin and outside as well and uh, yeah it holds the lights very well and it's not gonna go anywhere so what i want to do now is to take one of the strips of netting that I have and I'm choosing the darker color uh, and I am draping this uh, netting right in the middle in half so about here 
Now I'm getting my needles with pearls on top and I'm pinning this netting to my white fabric. So let's go. Now I want to drape this netting. So I'm taking my netting from the very bottom, I'm going behind my boxes and I'm just playing with it, draping, seeing what I like the best and I think I like, I like it just like that. I'm taking my pin with the pearl on top and pinning to my fabric. taking that netting that is hanging behind and draping over to the front. And I have my netting from the back up front. I am draping this one as well and playing with it and seeing what I like the best. display these cute bears and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. I want to put my bears right here in my box but before that I want to stuff my box with something because I tried that before and all of the bears they just fall off and they don't have support underneath of them. So I'm taking my netting, the extra netting that I had rolling it around placing that in there squishing i had a really long strip of this netting and then i cut it in half so that's why i have two pieces okay i want a little bit of this netting uh, show through or kind of peek from this box just a little bit but not um, I don't want it to cover my boxes as well. So I want the boxes to be visible as well. So I decided to go with uh, probably all brown over here. So this little guy is going on this side, this one on the other. I also had these medallions that I bought on Amazon as well, and I want to put them on my bear. And if it's too long, you can tie a knot right on your chain to make it a little bit shorter. Now to my onesies. I want to hang them somewhere over here, right on this netting. So starting with with the lighter one, taking my pins with pearls on top and I'm going to pin these onesies right at the shoulder, right here and right to my netting and fabric at the same time. If you're going to place it right on the netting, netting is going to weigh down and it's not going to look good and you'll mess up all of your draping as well. So two needles with pearls per one onesie. what I have for you guys today. I love it. I love this backdrop so much. I love what's going on here. I love the onesies. I love the bears. That's all I had in my household. And this one, I, I borrow it from my mom. This one, as you saw, this is a Christmas <laughs> bear. So I dressed him and he doesn't look like nothing like Christmas. So I like that he's dressed in a uniform. I also love this little cute family on top of the box. And I love this necklace with pendants. It's so cute. If you have more than one child in your family, you can put 
more bears and represent your family that way. I think it's so adorable. If it's for a boy, I think it's good and it's cute as it is right now. But if it's for a girl, you can add pink onesies. Also, you can add lots of flowers, not lots of flowers, but a few flowers on the netting. That would be adorable. You can add a few flowers over here and kind of on the box over there and that's going to transform your backdrop into something totally different as well you can add a banner like a welcome baby or the name of the baby or just a letter of the baby over here and it's gonna look good as well i hope i inspired you and helped you and you enjoyed this video i will share a few pictures of the close-ups of this backdrop at the end of this video Alrighty, guys so here you have it this is my second take on this backdrop i hope you enjoyed this video it was inspiring to you and let me know what you think in the comments below also if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want to ask me a question for my Q&A video, leave that question in the comments below as well and I'll be there. I'll gladly collect all of your questions and make the Q&A video for you guys so you, my subscribers and everyone who will come and stumble on that video will get to know me better and hopefully fall in love with what I do and become a part of our creative family. Before ending this video, I would love to say a huge thank you to all who sent lots of love and support on my first military backdrop. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the constructive criticism that I received on that backdrop. I appreciate it all and thank you for caring. Thank you for loving what I do. I value every single one of you, you guys. Thank you for your support. If you wanna become a part of our family and create with me, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye-bye.